Welcome back. Yeah, we back. Z Chip. Blah. J. Cole Daddy. For your mommies. <laughs> <laughs> for all the moms. For this all is MK. Moms. We're back. We back. To please your ears with more of our sultry Enjoyment. voices. We kind of just bitch for an hour. Wow, that's how you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you done here? <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. No, no. Are you giving your two weeks? No. No. That's very disrespectful. Um, no, 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 no. So, what do you guys want to start with? Um, you know something fun? Well, I got a question. Okay. More so. If you guys could square up with anyone on this planet, you be like, this, this guy needs his ass beat, mm-hmm. and you're going to be the one to beat that ass. Mm-hmm. Who would it be? Three minutes. Hell in the cell. So it has to be with my current strength and body. No. Are, are we, are we, do we have time to uh, get ready for flight performance? Um, you got 90 days. Ooh, that's that's a lot of time. I don't know if I could bulk up enough to beat up who I want to beat up. Well, who is it? You just eat like a block of cheese a day. Yeah, that gets your that gets I'm your weight up. Intolerant. I'll be oh. shitting it out immediately. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> um, but I think the the obvious answer that on, on, that's on everybody's mind is Trump. I want to beat the shit out of Trump. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Until he's like spitting out teeth on the ground, like. And like gasping for air, and I just stomp on his neck. Oh yeah, I would. Mm, that'd be very enjoyable. Um, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants to see it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Um, but it's a, that's like a cliche answer. It's just like I don't know. It's the obvious answer that popped in my head. Uh, Aziz Ansari. Now, why would you want to do something like that, Jim? Uh, he just got ousted for uh, sexual assault back in the day. And Master of Nuns overrated as fuck, so I'm done. Didn't like the show, but did you actually read what the allegations are? No. Mm-hmm. I read the story. I, did I just you read saw... what the actual allegations are? What? What allegations? What, like, what the allegations mean? against Aziz Sorry, He's a weird fuck? What are the allegations? You didn't read the article? No, but I heard that it's basically what I've heard was that it's just him being a creepy fuck hitting on girls. Uh, the article I read was about this girl that he was, that they were together seeing each other for a while and he would be really, he'd be weird when they would hook up and she like wasn't really into it and would kind of like get him like, it, it, it was clear that she wasn't about that life, about it and consenting and would I don't know? There's a lot of just rapey vibes that get thrown out in the wind that I saw. Yeah, I don't have enough information to speak on it. I just kind of like the way that he does stand up and the way that he like you don't like screaming. He just kind of talks like this <laughs> the entire hour, and then it's like just that pretty much the entire. Do you time. like him better or Jeff Dunham? <laughs> well. Has Jeff Dunham been under fire? He's, I'm sure he will soon. Uh, you know that fucking freak did some weird shit. With a puppet? Or a person? Definitely with a puppet. <laughs> Do you think he fucked a puppet? No, well, I think he tried to fuck a puppet in front of someone and then tried to get the puppet to fuck a chick, probably. I bet he has, like, a bunch of those, like, real girls. Those, you... like, fake <laughs> women. I can see it. Yeah. And he, like, talks himself as I'm like, Hi, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> You're so masculine. <laughs> No, but another one, my runner-up, would definitely be Johnny Depp. I was thinking Johnny Depp, but you I You want to fight bad. Johnny Depp? Yeah, that douche deserves it. Maybe I'll set a, Maybe he's just an alcoholic who's having trouble with his life. Yeah, his throw. life, a rough time in his life, he's just a guy. But I would love to just set him straight just by beating the fucking the pretty out of him. <laughs> he's pretty. <laughs> he's a pretty dude. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What about you, Jesse? Did- all right. Um, I know I'm putting you on the spot with your question and all, but yeah, I should have thrown a question. <laughs> you know, I would really Tom Brady. I don't think you could take him. I don't I think you can get near him. He's like guarded. Well, well no, the th- tuck well, rule, how- right? 
What do you mean? The whole how would I get close to Trump? The whole scenario is we just get a cage match with him. <laughs> okay. No, not Tom. Oh, I take that back. I take that. Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons. He needs his shit rocked. Yeah, it's true. He's been. He's notorious for just going off on the Sixers, and it's it's just it's not right. Oh, he he's just so southy, and I hate it. We just lost every listener in Boston. Yeah, all 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 thousands of them. Is he wait? Yeah, he's he's a he's a Celtics lover, right? Mm-hmm. Or he's all Boston, Boston strong. So you you want to do Bill Simmons? I want to fuck that man up. Do we like Colin Coward? I don't think I like Colin Coward. He seems like a douche. I liked him, and then I didn't because he talked about the Eagles. But now I like him again. I used to love him on uh wait, what are you doing on Sports Nation with a uh, Michelle Beadle? Yeah, but now he has that other that the herd clueless blonde chick that's always like. Well, you know, pizza's in a circle, and he's like, <laughs> "He's not why really the fuck a co- are you on my show." <laughs> he's not really a co-host. She's why is she there? He's she's just a pretty chick that has. She says like her dumb leads remarks. him in, and then just it's all Con Cal- Coward for the rest of the episode. You and know how? Like, then like every twenty minutes, he's like, "Oh, what do you think about this?" And then back every, to him. Yeah, uh, she's just a pretty face. It's and it's like, and all girls are show. like, "Wow, that's so sexist," and it kind of is because every sports show does that. Every and then all those. I love Ooh. how sports shows are going with that theme where it's like. Here's a white guy with his wisecracks, and here's a black guy with his take, and then we have a chick in between them that's hot as shit with her tits out, and she'll say, hold on, guys, stop fighting. I think football is fun. And then mm. she gets replaced two months later with a different, yeah, really hot girl. Yeah. It's just every, and then, dude, what's his name? It's just so, he's definitely probably a racist. Um, Who's on first take now with Stephen A.? Max Kellerman? Max Kellerman. You think he he's racist? Like really, no, he's a really nice guy, but every take that has to do with racial something, he is so far against white people and for, like, black stuff that it's like... He tries too hard to be woke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like woke. He's like, Colin, Colin Kaepernick deserves a starting position in this league, mm-hmm. and he should go to Supreme Court with his case because this is egregious. Egregious. See, I don't... I don't I don't understand what going and I don't know. I don't think Kaepernick should be a starter, but like, how are you going to force someone to employ another person? I don't get that. You well, know, I mean, you I know think what I mean? they're saying that the problem in the first hand was people were being forced to not employ him. He was blacklisted. There was collusion that he wasn't going to get signed by any NFL team because he was we being uh, outspoken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the bad part. Okay, but you can't like force someone to employ another person. Yeah, but you can't That's force people slavery. to. You can't report. You can't force people to not employ someone. Mm. You win, you lose. So he just kind of does like volunteer work now, right? Is that what he does? Kind of, or he donates money or suits or some shit. How are your guys' levels? We can cut this out, but I'm not seeing big waves on anything, and I don't want to get through this recording and then. No, we're good. Have uh, it be quiet as a mouse. No, we're fine. <laughs> Jim says it's fine. Okay, back on uh, back on track. We're talking a little quiet. That's why. I'm I'm think I'm yelling in this fucking thing. I can amplify it after. It's not. I'll amplify you. Um, <laughs> did I already do a police stop for brides icing the grooms? I feel like I've done no, that already. No. I haven't. No. You might have talked like uh, outside the pod. Okay. Can 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 we stop that? That's becoming a thing now that I'm seeing on almost, like, every other day is, like, another video of, like, oh, you won't believe what happened. And then they do, like, the first dance, and the the, the bride spreads her legs, and, and he's like, oh, there's a, a spirit on you guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> or the other one is the uh, the videos of, like, dudes ice fishing, and then they f- fucking pull the, the spear off ice out, and they're like, oh, who who got me? Who, who joshed me on this who one? Josh? <laughs> Was it you, Jonathan? You fucking asshole. Icing is just back in general now. I mean, it's the th- thing. Be to creative. Do. I'm seeing just tons and tons of video of the brides icing. How's the that not the creative? Fishing. How's ice fishing? How's that not creative? Because there's already fucking tens of thousands of videos of someone already doing it. I've you gonna go do that. it now? I've never seen. Well, that. you need to follow the right people. You're following puppies. I like the and good old classic overalls. lamp. I like I like the nice classic lamp ice. Are you up? Oh, you want to turn that lamp on for oh, me? Oh, that's a good one. I haven't seen that one in a while, but you just need to change the pace. Put Stop one. doing the same one over and over again. Also, I'm going to need Hollywood to please stop being unoriginal. The The new Creed movie that's coming out, they just cast it. This is what you pro, you reminded me earlier. They just cast it Ivan Drago's son. 
Oh. So now it seems like Hollywood, Ooh. instead of coming up with new characters, they're just going to say, oh, this is so-and-so's son. We're going to build on the story. It's just his mm-hmm. son. So it's just going to be a carbon copy of him. It's probably going to be a big Russian dude that's like, oh, I kill you, crush. And it's fucking stupid. Is, or, is Creed going to fight him? Yeah. Expendable sons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expendable Creed or some shit. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be. and then, Or they're going to make it where... Oh, you know what? I bet you what's going to happen. I, I can know how Hollywood's going to write. Creed won the fight in the last one. I didn't see the first Creed, mm-hmm. but he won the fight in the last one. So he's probably going to be like what they did in Rocky 3, where like he's like a big shot, like all hyped up now, making money, and he tra- trains like real in like a lush gym, mm-hmm. like with promos and stuff. And then this Russian dude's in like shitty Russia now, like lifting barns and fucking <laughs> noble carriages. And he's just, yeah, in Chernobyl fucking. Like, my country is fucking bullshit, and then now he's going to probably beat the shit out of Creed, and then Creed's going to come back. Hear me out. Oh, shit. I'm giving you guys a chance to make millions right now. Okay, we get Michael Caine. I'll do it. We, okay, Batman, Mm -hmm. but an Alfred spinoff prequel. They already did that. It's called Gotham. What? Gotham is about Bruce Wayne's I'm saying just focusing only on Alfred. (laughs) <laughs> you don't think that'll make a ton of money? It'll probably, but it wasn't uh, anything too cool. It was just him. Not as that like you a know British of, because spy. he didn't have his own. It wasn't no, but he him. Talks the... about he was using the British Armed Services. Yeah, so a spinoff about that. You don't think they're? Why wouldn't they do that? They probably could, but it wouldn't be as big. And they already did Gotham, which focuses him helping Bruce Wayne fight crime. Sorry, I didn't mean to shit. That's on you. I'm it's talking not, pre, pre, pre. The, where he's a fucking Kree preteen is just as beating his dick as and fucking... Actual. And why would Michael Caine play? He's so old as shit. <laughs> they, got, they got makeup for that. They got oh CGI. He's like, He'll just be all old as shit when he's fucking, you know... My, my hey, Michael Caine. I'm only 20 years old. He can, just do, the, like he can do the voiceover. Oh, Michael, how's it been? No. <laughs> ain't gonna do it. I'm not going to do it because it ain't going to work. <laughs> ain't going to work. You know? Yeah. No. He just passed a million dollars. So. Probably, I, we don't have the. I mean, if somebody hears this and does it, yeah, but we don't have the. You you play basketball with M Knight, get him to do it. He could put a twist. I at hereby the end. copyright this story idea. If, okay. if M Knight comes out with an Alfred spinoff in the next three years, come to me or I'll go to him. No, give me his number and then I'll go to him. Since you're best friends with him now, not best friends with him. Well, For we the, can roll into that. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. So we can we can roll into that. Um, so listeners that are not in my circle. Wow, I sound like a fucking asshole. Yeah, <laughs> fucking um, I sound like Logan Paul. You peasants that, uh, you know, I don't bother with my time. Um, so last week I had a great opportunity. It was a great, great time. My uh, my mother, she is principal at an elementary school, and there is a teacher teaches uh, fifth grade. I'm just going to use his first name. His name's John. What do you teach? Hmm? What's he teach? Like fifth grade, I mean, like you teach a little bit of everything. Mm, that's right. I forgot except except for specials. You know what I mean? Like, mm, just go, <laughs> keep going. I don't want to lose. Oh, you know. oh <laughs> shit! You know what? No, no, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know the specials. You know, like the, the uh, music and uh, then yeah. gym. colors and shapes. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. Anyway. For some, I don't know how he knows. You keep them separate. <sighs> Damn it! All right, so I don't know how he knows M Night Shyamalan, but um, so like last year or so, he was telling my mom that he's like, "Oh yeah, we're we're playing basketball this um this weekend. We're, we're playing at Ridley High School, and we're gonna M Night Shyamalan's gonna be there. We we always play. I've known him for years." And she's like, oh, my, my, my son loves to play basketball, and I, I know he likes them nice Shyamalan movies. I don't know that she would you know don't. that. You hmm? don't like M. Night Shyamalan movies? I like Split. That was when Split came out, and I was mm. talking to my mom about it. But you can't claim M. Night Shyamalan ship if you only like Split. You're such a, you're a, you're a groupie. Six Sense, you're, um, Red Rum, uh, Stuart Little. He's Red cool. Rum. Stuart Little. Yeah. You talk about The Shining? That was Kubrick. Oh, shit. You asshole! <laughs> shit! He made he made Stuart Little. He did make Stuart Little. Yeah, he's not proud <laughs> of it though. Shit! What, what am I thinking? Lady about? in the Water. Great. Wait, what am I thinking? The of? Visit. Great. 
Signs. He did the Sixth Sense, didn't he? Yeah. Sixth Sense. They didn't say red rum. He says, I see dead people. Oh, that's what it was. Fuck. All right. Yeah, 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 man. Can't claim it. You need to watch. You need to brush up on your M. Night. Watch Stuart Little two times and then come back and repent. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the opportunity came last week and uh, went over to Delco Christian and uh, we balled out. He referred to me as the cut master. Oh my! No, he didn't. <laughs> I swear to God, he no, called me the he cut fucking master. Didn't because the whole game, You're I such kept a fucking <laughs> no, 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 no. This is... I swear on my life. So I kept doing this thing. The guy that was guarding me wasn't too quick. So you he... cut. You can't shoot, so you cut. I would take. I would take <laughs> elbow shots. Uh huh. From the top of the key, no, no threes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would either fake like I'm going to the top of the key and then run back down and they do a nice little bounce pass and I get a quick layup. He's like, dude, they're going to get... He's been giving Jesse fucking free layups the whole goddamn game. He's been giving cut, man. Layups all goddamn game. He's like the cut master. That's what he said. He said he's like the cut master. I swear to God, he said I'm the cut master. Now, whether or not I believe in this <laughs> newfound information, um, I would like to ask you in your impressions of how he interacts with you guys playing basketball, mm-hmm. if I would have made it to the first <laughs> pickup game, do you think I could have talked him up and maybe got an extra role? On no, the no, class I didn't. I didn't say anything. Well, you because you're 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 startled. You're scared. Did you mention yeah, what? Stuart Little three? Could you met. Well, I was thinking. I was thinking like this. This kid, you just got invited to play basketball. Never met him before, and, and you're just like. How's the movie going? Because he films in Aston, if you didn't know that. Yeah, he try. shot some stuff from Split in Aston. Tri- well, the, the Tri-State Sports that was there, mm-hmm. now it's a sound studio. Yeah, it's uh, Sun Studios or some shit. But, um, yeah. Well, no. I mean, like, so you didn't even get a picture with him. I would at least have no, been like, yo, can I get a weird. picture with you? No, I can't do that. No. Because he, he If this dude played man. for the he Phillies did. 20 years ago, your dick would be... In no, your no, 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 the, no. in your pants, he does. He's this. gotta get bothered so often. Yeah, he he play, he does this because when he's in town, he's not in town a lot. He'll, he'll like do the Sixers games, but he doesn't like the like people he's, like coming up to him like, hey, look, look, so I wouldn't be bothering right? him. He's I going there for the first in the first place to relax. Okay, so maybe I make it to the second game, but you play this <laughs> first game normal, mm-hmm. make a name for yourself. Second game you might say something. The second one, not the first one. No, no, no. Then you look at a weirdo. You, you don't. Yeah, you don't get invited back. What'd you call him? Huh? What did you call him? Because well, he, he, he wasn't did not on my go, team. Oh, yo, M Knight. No, what? I didn't. I mean, he he wasn't on my team. Um, but it was funny <laughs> when he would make a shot. There was this kid. You he, you knew he was like, just trying to be like. Like suck up to him, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Let's fucking go, Knight. Let's go." So <laughs> like, yeah, and then like whenever he made a shot, and I was like, "All right, dude." We, we, so yeah. what were the ages of people playing this game? Um, I was the youngest, uh, but most of the guys were like mm, from like early no early thirties, late twenties, and then there was like two or three like forty year old guys, and M Knight's like fifty. Mm-hmm. He look, he looks like he's like he in his thirties. Like yeah, I didn't know he was fifty. He can move. He can move around pretty quick. I think he likes soccer too. So he's like, he, when he when he came in, he had like all, he had knee pads on, high socks. He had like these. They, I don't know what shoes they were. They were fucking nice shoes. Did he make Cable Guy with uh, Jim Carrey? Yeah, I fucking love. Is it is it M Night in that? It might not be. I'll look that up. Look it up real quick. Because if he did, that's there's a funny basketball scene in that. Oh, there it is. Referenced. Um, oh, you guys play here too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing prison rules now? Yeah. That would, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of mad that was the day I decided to sleep in until like 1030. And I'm just waking up to your messages like, all caps, guys, pay attention. <laughs> I have an opportunity. You, you sent it like five different messages, and then it's you were finally. Like, I figured you were asleep. No, but you you broke in fragments instead of just coming out and saying, "Yo, playing with M Night Shyamalan don't have time to explain." Are you in eight thirty Delco Christian? You said, <laughs> "Guys, I have an opportunity." My mom knows someone. <laughs> M Night Shyamalan <laughs> basketball <laughs> pickup eight thirty. Are you down? I need yes or no now. And Jim's like, "I ah, know." And then you're like. <laughs> 
Zach now. <laughs> Three minutes later, too late. They got all ten. Too yeah, late. it was really quick. Like that. Like, you could have said yes, and then if I back out, you text M text not M Knight text uh, <laughs> Joe Schmo, and then like, hey, uh, my friend slipped and fell. He can't make it. Yeah, you gotta fill a roster spot. Yeah, oh, well. couldn't have been the alternate. You asshole. Had to show speed. Sorry. No, I'm not good at basketball anyway. I don't want to be in front of MMA shot Shyamalan. I would just pass all the time, and it'd be, you guys would let me have an open three, and I'd be like, <laughs> get open. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the like the. I was kind of comfortable with, like, the talent. <laughs> like, they were obviously better. I haven't played, like, a, a pickup game in You don't a while. play pickup at L.A., bro? I mean, Brookhaven, like... Brookhaven, L.A.? Come on, man. I know, but I felt like I had to, like, try really hard for this one. You sweating? Oh, yeah, I was sweating. Do shirts for skins? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was a good time. Did you guys have pennies? Time. How do you distinguish who's on whose team? Um, I don't know, we just did picks, and then, um... You just play. Did, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Seemingly, the team that like I was on, like they knew each other, and it was like. But you didn't know them. No. So that must have been weird for you. Where you're like, do I pass to M Night or do I pass to? I didn't know anyone Giamatti. there. I mean, like, I think I met that teacher maybe once. Did he have slick back hair? Uh, he 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 uh he had hair like uh. Oh, he was like Paulie balding. Shore. No, he was like balding, like like Mur from. Okay, well, that makes sense. Practical Jokers. Um, so if you guys could have a job that has <laughs> nothing to do <laughs> with your education or background, what would you do? Custodian. Explain. First thing I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. You, I'll come back to you. <laughs> Do you have anything? I want to hear to... that. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. He just thought of the first thing that came to his head. So, um, does this mean that I would like you get a free shot no matter what your qualifications are? Oh, okay, okay. So it's not like I have to go back to school for it. It's mm-hmm. just whatever I want. Mm-hmm. Um, Sports Illustrated photographer. I would like to be a photographer, but it's it, I don't know. It, yeah. There's not a lot of money in it. Get to wear that nice little vest. Yeah. I wear I wear my own vest. Yeah. Remember that that Kevin Durant vest that he. Mm, yeah, that's only a only a select few get to wear that vest. That's a that's a nice vest. Mm-hmm. I get my own vest on the uh, job sites, so I don't, I'm not going to go from one job to the next just because they also have a vest. Think, uh, and I think this is kind of a cliche. Cliche. What the fuck is that? A cliche answer. Uh, the first choice I would do is like an actor. A medium. A medium. No. Even though I'd that love would to be steal, mine. I'd love to steal people's money. That would money. be mine. I'd be a psychic. I'd be a medium. So you'd just be a douchebag and be like, oh, I'm not saying that. dead grandfather's talking to me. Mm-mm. You practice up, read some cold reading books, and then you just give the, you th- give the people what they want. I'm feeling a K name? Kevin? <laughs> mm-hmm. He's saying something. Mm-hmm. And then you, I would just be a dick. I'd be like, oh, he's still alive. What's he saying to you? Uh, not Kevin. <laughs> no, um, I think I would be an actor. Because that'd be cool to, like, act with, like, the big names and then, you know, be in a movie. Yeah, you know, um, just, just shooting the shit. Yeah, and you just be cool and then you could, like, bang Olivia Munn and stuff. That'd be cool. But you have, um, like, allegations on you and stuff. I wouldn't have any allegations. She's starring in that new movie, Olivia Munn. <laughs> what new movie? Um, for, uh, I forget. Power Rangers? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's a new movie coming out this year, but Olivia Munn's starring in it. Well, well, I'll watch it. A lot of people are like, man, I don't know if she's a good actor, but... Probably not a good actress, but I'd still like to watch it just for to see her. Um, or my backup would be a sports commentator who just uses the weirdest... So you'd be Chris you, Collinsworth? You just... Weirdest... Remarkable. No, not as, not what, as gay. What He's would really be, gay. What would be your punchline? Like your little phrase? <laughs> hmm. Looks like somebody likes to double dip. Oh. In what context are they <laughs> double dipping? What does that even mean? When they score twice. Okay. When they score twice in a row. Okay. Okay. All right. And that works for all sports. What about you? <laughs> what would Back be your from phrase? custodian. No. Oh, you want the phrases? <laughs> I want to hear his phrase. Phrase. <laughs> I just came up with that on the spot, too. I didn't pre-think that. Hmm. Jesus Lord. And don't just make a sound like <laughs> kablooey. Like no. <laughs> Something cliff and boom goes the dynamite. No. Slamming, I'd be slamming. 
that's too like make a make a funny phrase that makes no sense slam that and, have people you can say slam at any time about. if someone's go oh that looks like he's gonna double dip Oh, it looks like somebody <laughs> likes to double dip, and then people would hear it and then cheer, and then be like, "The fuck did he just say?" That'd be hilarious. I love. I would love to be a guy where they're like, "Is he all right? Is he okay to be doing this job?" Be sheesh. And do that. Sheesh. sheesh. Yeah, you can chew at people. God, that you can't say God, right? <laughs> See when they're going around to the fans, oh, yeah. oh, that that kid really likes his ice cream, and then they go <laughs> to the, like his mom, and I'm just like, chew. You got you said slamming, slamming. It's so fucking terrible. That's uh, pathetic. Come up with something. Beat. Wow. Come out of your shell. I I put I got put on the spot there. Double dipping, dude. Slamming. I was kind of going for the feel of like uh, what's his name? Who's the old guy who should retire immediately for college hoops? Diaper dandy. That kind of shit. Uh, that makes no sense to anybody, but they Dick love Vitale. him. Yeah, Dick Vitale. He's not still doing that, is he? He's still commentating. Well, I thought he's while. done. No, nah, once in a while, he puts on his moon boots. Um, Why don't you say that? When going, someone's going for a dunk, he's putting on his fucking moon boots. <laughs> hey, all right, all right. I like that. That's <laughs> pretty good. But Jesse came up with it, so I can't claim it, neither can you. Um, so you got something you want to fire off? Yeah, last episode I went off a little uh, uh, cliffhanger. <gasps> that That's <laughs> Fired off. <laughs> last week I went on a little cliffhanger. Um, I want to talk about my 3% Italian for a little bit. Um, what do you think of when you think of Italians? Gobble ghoul. Hey, fucking, uh, come here, you fucking dadoli. Okay, so Dean Martin was kind of famous back in the day. Oh, but he was, he was abusive. Was he? Yeah. Was of course, he was back in the, what, the 50s? Just because you were born in the 50s doesn't mean you're, <laughs> doesn't mean yes. you're violent. Yes. Was he a, uh, a homosexual? Why does that matter? It's 2018. I don't know. I'm just... Isn't that a fact about Dean Martin that he's a homosexual? I've never heard that. All yeah. I know is he's he does a lot of nice Christmas songs, and I like Christmas. But hmm. there's one song that he does that I want to bring back my segment about lyrics. What the fuck are you saying? It's probably about beating women. Go ahead. Dean Martin, uh, the song Amore. I don't know if you've heard that song. Oh. <laughs> the first, first. Gonna, I want to go over the first paragraph of the song. Oh, par- okay. It's four four lines. Four lines. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. And what he's basically saying is when you look at the moon and you get the same feeling as when you look at a pizza, you're in love. The moon hits your eye like a great pizza pie. Or maybe he's talking about it's out. a circle. I'm trying to think of, no, maybe it's a big, that big pizza pie is a circle. Back then they weren't like girls now were like, feed me pizza and rub my hair until I go to sleep. They might have been. No. They were like, hey, come here, Lois. What was, what was that? <laughs> what was that? To the moon. You remember what was the, the to honey? the moon, Alice? Yeah, to the moon, Alice. Alice, Alice, these Alice, days. Look, Alice going down the court with moon boots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a more. So when you start getting lightheaded and have the spins, you're in love. I don't think so. God, you're, that's what you're he's looking. saying. God, bells roll. <laughs> bells will ring. Ting a ling a ling. Ting a ling a ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Shit. And you know that kind of makes sense when you hear bells. You th- you're a little happy, so I understand that part. Mm-hmm. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Hearts will play tippy tippy tay tippy tippy tay like a gay tarantella. Interesting. Mm. What's a tarantella? You're Italian. A tarantella. Tarantellas are Italian folk dances, and they <laughs> use tambourines a lot. Okay, so gay a happy tarantella. Doesn't have to be homosexual. Back then, it would most likely meant happy. Well, he's the one that brought up homosexuals. Just now, well, I just shit on your. You were just trying to make this a homophobic topic. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to be. You like, were fine going through all those lines until you get to this one. You said a gay Tarantella. No, you were fine because you just breezed past the other ones. You were like, "Why is it? What? Okay, gay. What's wrong with gay?" And you went in introspective. I said, but look into meant, yourself. You meant a hate, look into yourself. Happy. T- shut the fuck look, up. Look into yourself. Up. You're looking up. Do it. Lyrics uh, from an old ass dude. It's uh, dead. Okay. What? When were you listening to this? Were you in the car one day? Oh, I'm sorry. That was James Dean. That was James Dean. I was thinking of James Dean. I was thinking of James Dean too. Sorry. <laughs> James Dean died in a car accident. I think. R.I.P. Or was it drug overdose? No, it was a car accident. No, that was McQueen. McQueen died in a car accident. Flash. Dean Martin. I think. James Dean died in drugs. I think. Whatever. Go ahead. That's it. Someone get back to us. 
So what, what what didn't you like about this? You didn't like the last line? I didn't understand the first two sentences, but you guys kind of like just were like okay with the second. The second half made sense, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't understand the moon meets the eye like a big pizza pie. I didn't get that at all. Do you feel like you need to go on vacation to Italy and experience your culture? I might have to or... go on a voyage back home. No, you can do. You can go down to South Philly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do just what? walk around and talk and yell at people like this with your yeah, hands yeah. up, just stating. Yeah, you won't make it too far though. Why? Uh, I'm Italian. Like, no. Uh, you know, it'd be funny to go There's to like, so many, somewhere. Like, the Greggios down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, that sounds so bad. <laughs> no, um, I would love to go to like a country where I'm only like 10, percent and then just like go around and be own like, it. you own it. I'd be like, hello. I don't know why I'm doing. Why? Asian. What was that? I was doing an Asian <laughs> thing for the listeners. I was doing my hands together, bowing. But Asian thing. Yeah, you go to thing, somewhere right? where you don't speak the language, and then like you either get a translator or a book or whatever, and then just be like, yeah. So. I'm coming to visit this because I'm only 9% whatever you are. So I'm basically you. And then they'd be like, no. <laughs> okay. And then spit in your food. Because <laughs> they'll be cooking whatever. Did you see the, um, was I with you guys when, when the Ancestry came on where the guy was like a German like folk dancer? And like he and like, then he found out he was Irish. So he's like, I traded in my Leidenhosen's for a kilt. I was like, this guy... Sucks. He just <laughs> abandoned his. How did you get it so wrong too? Yeah, that was terrible. Was like, kind of close. Like my main ones. Like you know how many like weekends and hours of practice. Or he like spent? his father taught him, or his grandfather taught him. Like how did they get it so wrong? Like, That's got to be his family's fault because he's just going off of what he hears. Yeah. That sucks. But now answer is just like, hey, You're is wrong, your family idiot. a bunch of fucking weirdo idiots that don't know their hair had their history? Spit in a tube for us. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. I'll tell you what you are. <laughs> I'll tell you your hopes and dreams. Um. Uh. Do you have a um? I got something else if you want. Yeah, get us something else, Jim. <laughs> um. Okay. Have you guys ever gone somewhere and found someone that caught your eye as you walk past them down the street? No. What do you mean, caught your eye? Not you phys- hoping- Not physically, but like. Like, I think this person's a terrorist? No, no, like a little cutie. You think someone's a little cutie? So you, you just said not so how no, they no, look, no, 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 no. but if they're cute. A very attractive woman? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or man. Whatever you're into. Um, whether Wait, be why a... is there one or the other? Yeah, why does that matter to you? Why do you have to distinguish? It should just be... There's preserved. 76 genders. Okay. You didn't give me time to finish. Okay, go. I'll let you finish. Pan. Okay. And whether it be no. a, whether it be a tall girl you're too nervous to talk to, or a mom pushing a stroller down the street, you know it. I'm, I'm it's twenty. So that was two sh- subtle shots, right? No, that was two yeah, subtle yeah, shots yeah, at yeah. me no, and Jesse, not. right? You, no, you know my past with you tall were girls. Supposed to not comment and make him keep going. You son of a bitch! Come on, man. I've seen learn. I've seen enough people lose love and not be able to find any love in my lifetime and this year so far. And it's time for that to stop. <laughs> and I'd love, I'd like to welcome you to the excitement of Craigslist misconnections, where roman- romances are rekindled or left to never be seen. And I don't know if you, you have you ever been on misconnections? No. It's fucking weird. What? People, it, what is? I don't know even know what it people is. People go on Craigslist, and instead of going going on there to buy or sell things, they go on the misconnections tab, and. If you are like, say you see someone at Wawa and you're like, damn, that girl's hot, but you don't say anything to her. These people go on there and write a little message and in the hopes of that someday the, that person will see it and talk to them. They'll be like, hey, the brunette at Wawa, the Philly Wawa at uh, 2.30 p.m. that was wearing the red hat. Just want to let you know, I wish I, I, wish I would have talked to you because you seem really cute. Yeah, I got And then wa- she ho- he hopes that that chick checks later i got one for you and it's because the title is long-haired whole foods worker and this is the message they said oh wow hi there don't know your story but if you're interested and see this let me know i went through your check th- check out this afternoon and we talked a bit want to play with daddy <laughs> <laughs> you're sexy Jesus let, me, Christ. let me know what you said about something i was wearing and that you noticed and asked about 
So that's a good. He so he was hoping yeah. that if she sees it and says, "Oh, that might be me," and then the password is, "Oh, we talked about how you were in an Eagles hat and how you think they really got a chance this year." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so, so, so no one can like mess with you. Yeah, okay. I mean, but still, you, it's a fucking shot. What attractive girls are going on no one. Craigslist <laughs> misconnections? Uh, have you ever? How seen many a story? catfishes do you think they get like in return? Oh. A lot. It's got to be a lot. This is a good segue. I was going to save this for after if you had a knee deep. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was going to say, I was going to bring up, which is very interesting. You got catfish? No. When will the show Catfish catch heat for being homophobic and transphobic and be canceled? How is it How is it either What's of those things? Mean? Most episodes are, or not most, but some episodes are where it, it's a dude thing and it's a chick. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. it turns out to be a gay guy. And then they ended up getting outed by the news crew the team crew and then the guy's like oh damn oh you're a dude why would you lie to me blah 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 mm-hmm. that's homophobic and then there's trans people and all that stuff necessarily and I draw the connections that's to the scenario that's a homophobic snake I draw the connection to the scenario where uh, Migos caught heat for not wanting to dance with the transgender dancers they okay. caught they were being called transphobic for not wanting to dance like grind on why is that trans. why it's the same thing cause you don't you Catfish is having people that don't want to get with trans, transgender and homosexual people. Just because you don't want to hook up with someone doesn't mean you're homophobic. No, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, if, you want to fuck a guy? No, Do you no, want to no. fuck a guy? No, listen to what Do, I'm saying. Jim, listen to what I'm saying. No. Do you want to fuck a guy? Do you no? understand? Our logic yeah, is different than the Hollywood elite, right? Hollywood, that was one of the biggest stories months ago, is that Migos is transphobic. I didn't hear They that. don't want to dance and grind up on a fucking transgender... Uh, Dude, that's their prerogative. They don't have to if they don't no, want they're to. No, tra- they're transphobic. No, that that was the storyline. They're transphobic. I don't yeah, like that. that. And that's if exactly you're with that, you're transphobic. Mm-mm. That's the yeah. The, I mean, I know what you're both saying, but that's how they see it. They're just like, "Oh, we got him. We got him, guys. Put it up, Jimmy. Hook up that headline. They're going down. Those damn Migos." And, like, or someone doesn't want to hug another guy or something. They're like, oh, he must be homophobic. Uh, like, all this shit. And it's like, huh. no, I just don't want to hug a dude. It's just going to be, like, somebody wearing... They're just going to have their balls out. And be like, oh, you want to hug me? Because you don't like man? <laughs> Headline but, that, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just wondering when this is going to... You scrotophobic? With all this stuff where it's all about, oh, be proud of everybody and embrace everybody mm. openly... Mm. With no consequences, is you know what happened last time that happened? Catfish is gonna be canceled. Woodstock. When's the last time you open up for someone with no uh, consequences? What happened? Open up with no consequences. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to know the answer to this? There it's, were consequences, probably. Yeah. There probably were con. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, no. Mm-mm, I don't have one. Okay. <laughs> but I just want to know. <laughs> so I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing by uh, 2000. <laughs> <laughs> well, do they still even make new episodes of Catfish? Yeah, they do. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, they do. They do. So, I mean, that was a pretty interesting oh, show. My favorite one was when the girl thought she was with Bow Wow. That was fucking amazing. That's pretty funny, especially if it's a famous person. <laughs> but no, um, I like the one where it was a dude thought he was talking to a chick, 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 and then they finally meet, and it, it's it's a black dude thought it was a black chick. And then he meets and, says, and they go to like these picnic tables. There's a white dude there. Like, is that him? Mm-hmm. And they're like, are you Lucille or whatever? And he was like, yeah, I am. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, oh man, what? What are you gay or something? He's like, no, I was just fucking with you. <laughs> You're gay though. You're gay, obviously, because I'm a guy. And then they're like, oh, and he's like, and it's like the weirdest episode because he was just like, I totally got you. Like, I just like messing with people online. And they're like, why would you do this? He thought he was in love. He's like, you're no. Don't try to find love on the internet because I I got you, <laughs> fucking idiot. And they were just like, you're fucking sick, dude. You're a weirdo. He just did it to fuck with a person. How do you not like? snap someone or anything at all i don't i don't understand that i guess people just get so lonely that they just they find any interaction and they just you let their imagination take it to where it's like this must be the love of my life and i'm just gonna go with it because it makes me feel good and even if i don't have to ever meet that person because people in there they like give money away to them mm-hmm. some people i just don't get that i need to find out like a sugar mommy That'd be cool. I've they'll, never they'll heard sugar mommy. I'm sure there's a site somewhere. But no, like a, there's a, I've there's heard sugar mama, mamas. not mommy. I'm gonna sugar mommy. <laughs> but there's not gonna be any young ones. It's probably gonna be like old ass CEOs. They're like, come here. You gonna escort? 
I want to be an escort. I want to do the. Uh, what? So that's where you're gonna go back without any. Which here's my job. Here's <laughs> the other job I want to do. Pay cut though. This other job I want to do: a professional cuddler. But I don't think I'd last that long. Hmm. We talked about this. What do you mean by? Too. What do you mean by not last long? You just uh, I get poke on the back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's a no-no. They'd be like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" I'd be like, "Sorry, your ass is rubbing up on my fucking junk." I guess I have to wear a cup, right? You like, could go on the soft cups. What's the point of a soft cup? So that my fucking bone job wouldn't be hitting her, but she wouldn't feel a hard plastic cup rubbing up on her thigh. Would you rather have a hard cup rubbing up rubbing up against your thigh or uh, another man's phallus, Jesse? Jesus fucking. Um, what? The obvious oh, answer. I would, well, the well, obvious well, answer. What are you, homophobic? Well, well, there's no obvious answer here. What if, like, they are popping one and I don't know it? Yeah, but wouldn't you rather not know it than be like, oh, yeah, that's you. I Are feel you in it for the surprise? Are you gonna just going to let it happen? Find out later? I don't like where this is going. See a ghost? Get some ectoplasm on no, it? No, none of that. No. You're, all right, you're honestly telling me right now <laughs> you would rather have a guy with no cup on come up and rub his genit- his hard genitalia on your leg you feel it How you'd do rather I... feel that than a guy just wearing a cup and rubbing a cup on your thigh so he's basically you well, ever play baseball and someone slides into you at first base or second base or whatever and they slide in and you feel their cup their cup on your chin no, oh and, I, you I, sit, I, and you sit there for a few seconds and you kind of you just pat them on the balls just look Good into game. each other's Good eyes games. rub the dirt off your what no t- honestly explain to me why you'd rather feel a dick than a cup <laughs> what's your logic here i just don't like the the he could have one he could have a boner okay he's not he touching you with it so you'd rather he's not touching him if he's got pants on it's still here feeling it okay here here's what i'm saying no, i can know i can know to back off here's what i'm saying Jesse. well if he's just like no he's cuddling Th- with this you. is all i'm gonna say if someone's wearing a, if someone's not wearing a cup, you know their dicks on you. If they're not wearing a cup, oh. at best, they're, or at worst, he might have a boner. Okay, but there's still a cup separating the two of you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not. What well, really, you're saying, what well, you're saying really is that you would sell you on a cup here. <laughs> No, he'd rather, just, just, he'd, I, rather, he'd, rather he'd rather know, know if he feels that, a dick yeah. on him or not. It's... Then the mystery of it. <laughs> I don't like snakes. So you don't like M. Night Shyamalan movies then? Because there's always that mystery of the twist of what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. We'd rather just know, oh, Bruce Willis has a dick. <laughs> and it's on me right You'd now. You'd rather know Bruce like Willis was robbing you the whole time. Doing right now is kind of rude, to be honest. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> rude. Hey, cut guy. Or what'd you say? Cut, Dr. Cut? Cutmaster. Cutmaster? Yeah. Fucking loser. Don't ever say that again. That's what he said! <laughs> Record I it. Swear. Record it then. Oh my god, I swear. Facebook my life. live he, it. He called me the Cutmaster. <laughs> You're it, taking that to the grave unless I'm in front of you and we see him at a bar and I'm gonna ask him, hey M, can I call him M or I call him Knight? Hey M, Knight. Mr. Shin. Just Cutmaster? What, what if and I called say, you Z? He'll say, no, I called him Specs. <laughs> I've gotten that. <laughs> By from Edmite? I wasn't wearing when I played basketball. I don't. Nah, I don't. I, I guess, should. You wanna you wanna talk about what we're sipping on tonight? Sponsored by shit, Half Acre Be- <laughs> Half Acre Beer, Chicago, Illinois. I wanna. Is this say, Vallejo or Valley Joe? Vallejo. I I hope it's Valley Joe. No, I think it's Vallejo. I'm just extremely white, and I'm just gonna Could say be Valley Vallejo. Joe. Continue. Let's ask the Mayans. There's two L's. Could be a yeah. I'm not doing any accents on the little podcast little. unless it's a drunk cast. Because <laughs> um, if I'm going to be offensive, I don't remember. When are we going to do a next drunk cast? I don't know. Maybe after the whole Super Bowl blows over because I don't know if you'll be happy hey, drunk then. I want Mark's guns. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these cans, the, the Vallejo cans. I'm moving through Oakland. Vallejo. Uh, it, two L's do make that. Uh, it's a yeah, not a yeah, la la. Okay. It's a Valley I thought job. you roll it. But yeah. <laughs> you sound like Stitch. <laughs> I, now I can't do it again, so you're going to live with that sound bite. Um, it's a nice can with water splashing on what seems to be some kind of Asian... Whoa. Look at the tree in the back. That's one of those Asian peach trees or whatever, right? Or like the trees of lice. Life? Lice? <laughs> <laughs> the trees of lice. <laughs> Get spacked. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks like a one of those like peace trees. I don't fucking know. Could be an Afrika. I don't know. I just like the can. I, it caught my eye. Cans and the. I like the finish. Right, Jim. Like this matte finish. To the Ivory Coast. It caught my eye. Jim. Nice matte finish. Yeah. I nice. like the. Stop stroking the can. <laughs> God damn it. Um. So yeah, it's a nice can. It's a nice beer. It tastes pretty good. It's like six point four percent, I believe. So it's six point seven. I'm yeah, trust right now because I can't find it. I just saw it though. Right here. Six. Oh, it is six point seven. Sorry. Thank you. Point three off. Um. Yeah. What were we just talking about? The beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. The beer. We already my catfish. Um. So just a quick thing. Uh, I tweeted it two days ago, or I think yesterday. But it was just some I thought it was kind of funny. I just wish commercials could be more realistic. Like I don't understand why the standard for TV t- uh, commercials has to be so um, base. I guess it's to be unoffensive. It's they they be so base and so PG like ah that like just did not offend anybody and just catch your eye and then get you talking about it. But so you can't be like H and M. Why would we were gonna segue to that right? I'm not done. I'm not done yet. I didn't know if that's what you were doing. No, I was just gonna talk about that's that's an ad, not a commercial. I mean, like a commercial, like a TV commercial. So, like, you know how those fucking cheesy ass Chevy commercials. Hi, welcome to H and M. No, <laughs> where it's a Chevy commercial where it's that douchebag guy. It's like, hey, what do you think this car is? Oh, and God. he's like, oh, it looks like a luxury vehicle. Like they're covering up like just the little <laughs> emblems. He's like. Looks like a nice luxury Cadillac or a, a Mercedes, something up in that long, along those lines. He's All like, these wards, S <laughs> four, yeah. And he's like, "Well, I bet you'd be surprised." And then they drive a fucking truck off a, <laughs> a storage container onto the gravel, and they're like, "Whoa!" He's like, "I bet you didn't know it's a Chevy truck." And they're like, "Damn shit, I didn't know it's a fucking <laughs> Chevy truck. I'm definitely gonna buy one now." And he's like, "Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, now you know. We got another the JD one. JD Power Award for best fucking vehicle on the road." And Those then, uh, commercials are so fucking cheap. Every time my dad's such a Ford guy, your dad probably likes it. Frank probably loves him because he's shit. No, no. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But my dad's a Ford guy, and every time he's like, this dude's such a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> when, fucking whenever hates him. Whenever those commercials come on, you can see him just like, he like gets comfortable in his chair, and he puts his leg up. He's like, that's right. That's damn right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Frank. No, and then also, the the I do like the commercials now that they're trying to be funnier. Like, the recent years, they tried, like, the Doritos commercials are trying to be funnier, and, like, all the Super Bowl ads are trying to be funny. But, like... The was it progressive, progressive or Geico or progressive does the ones where it's like, or I bet you don't like feeling this, like feeling this, and it's like a cart running to you or getting a paper clip, a paper cut on your tongue or wet bags. gum. Oh, I sat in gum. Yeah, all those, and it's like really weird because all the people in it look weird, and it's like really weird laughing when they run into glass or whatever. I just watch this commercial, and I forget what mm-hmm. it's but for. But those, it's like it's for some insurance, but they're like save money by switching to. Ge- I think it's Geico, and you won't feel this or whatever, but like. Those are pretty funny. But then the one I tweeted about was, uh, I think you favorited it. I you, did. You show love, but Jim's a fucking Twitter hater. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The Where I said the auto braking commercials, I was watching one where it's like a mom <laughs> driving, and the kid's like, Mom, we got Taco Bell. She's like, I know, honey. And then all of a sudden, a fucking little, I don't know why, they made it a little Asian girl run out in the street, like a little five year old Asian girl go, ah. And then the car automatic <laughs> brakes. And the mom, Asian mom comes out and just comes out and goes, go, What are you doing? <laughs> and then she just goes, and then the one mom in this car is like, <sighs> and then just shows them like peacefully just pull off. You know, real life, they would definitely come there screeching hole. She'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you fucking dumbass mother. Insert racial slur. Get the fuck out of the road, you piece of shit. And then the mom would be like, I'm fucking walking here, you fucking douchebag. What the fuck? Is it's a stop sign, you fucking asshole. You know you what got I kids in the car. So you speak in front of your kids, you fucking douche. <laughs> Don't say fuck in front of my fucking kids. <laughs> I'll f- come out of the car. I'll fucking stab you. You know how they used to have the uh, the text and driving commercials where they were like, this is the last text that someone it's like, said. Hey. I want to see one where it's like someone was sending a dick pic while they were driving. Oh, <laughs> or just yeah. trying to fuck. <laughs> Bae, my parents aren't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fucked Bae, up. My, come over. Me. I'm too busy. I'm on, I'm on the road. My parents aren't home, and then me, and then the, the fucking commercial. <laughs> <laughs> a meme in a commercial. That'd be so offensive. <laughs> oh, people. yeah. that Oh, there'd be an uprise. But, you know, I would just appreciate more realistic car commercials. Or 
just if a comedian can do another skit show like Keen Peel and, and make make light and fun of the automatic breaking conundrum. So uh, there's something I want to bring up. Okay. Um, I just thought of it today because I was a little uh, I had some throat congestion mm. that that's been going on in my life. Mm-hmm. And it's, what are you doing? I just I wanted to move <laughs> up closer because I feel like I'm leaning the whole time. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so. At one point in the day, I was like, I was kind of like, <clears throat> and I got a big old chunk, <laughs> mucus. Mm-hmm. And I, I instantly thought, I was like, yeah, sex is cool, but you ever hock up big old chunk of loogie? Now, it's been annoying. It's been driving me nuts for hours. And like, I keep trying to talk to people. I talk to patients. And it's like, eh, hey, hey. <clears throat> <laughs> and I have like this weird, like deep voice for no reason. And I'm like, and I, Never a deep voice. You always have a little. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, 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 for, I have like a, like a deep voice because of that. Because you got your tonsils removed. Yeah, a little frog in there. Yeah, a little frog. No, I say when you have your congestive voice, you're more like. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> well, I'm kind of right, go ahead. I'm kind of loose right now, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. But yeah, that uh, that instantly hit me, and I was like, "Do you guys have any?" Uh, yeah, sex is cool, but and that was, that hit, that hit home. But that's something you can't tweet. What? Because you know you wouldn't get love for that. With the loogie thing? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like, oh my god, I fucking hate when people Cause... blow their nose in front of me. I hate people like that. Like I'm, I'm gonna fucking blow my nose, or blow my nose, or if I'm like, if I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like trying to clear it. Yeah, and, and then you get that big chunk, and you're like. You ever it. spit it and you see it and it looks like an organism? Yeah, it looks like a little amoeba. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> hello, I've been living inside yeah. of you. And then it crawls away. The darker the color, the more I'm like, oh, yeah, you needed to come out, didn't you? <laughs> 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 You're a dirty little little, little chunk. I'm glad you can't. I call it a chunk. <laughs> no, I, 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 no. We're getting into a weird darker, spot because the, I want to include this. The darker the loogie, the the juicier Sweeter the, the juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can't do that. No, isn't it if, it, if it's green, you're it's an infection or a bec- it's infection. Um, yeah, the, the, yeah, pretty much the more discoloration. Well, like what sure. if it's really dark yellow? What's the difference between dark yellow and dark green? What about dark yellow and light green? That's pretty close. What about if there's blood in it? We just know clear is... What you want. Yeah. What if there's blood in it? Then you probably have been coughing way too much and you... Could have a bloody nose. Can I get my... Can I... Is there... You might as well just keep this, all this <laughs> stuff, because this is a good discussion. <laughs> um, can I just opt to get my tonsils removed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but do you have them right now? Yeah. It's a dangerous procedure. Why? The older that you get. Why is that? Might not make it. Yeah, you could believe. Why it is out. it better for me when I'm younger than when I'm older? Smaller. Still, <laughs> still, still developing. Like, he just said smaller. <laughs> you're smaller, and <laughs> you're still kind of developing, and it's a little bit easier. Smaller knife. What's the per- <laughs> What's the percentage of me? What's the success percent of me getting a success rate? Yeah. Right now, twenty four. I'm about to be twenty five uh, next month. Twenty eighteen. Still, it's just, it's just kind of dangerous. You could just pull. how dangerous? You could fall Give me right a percent. Out of the seat. You could fall right out of that seat. Uh, I, don't know, I, I don't know a percent. Driving a car is a certain percent dangerous. Now, what's what's that compared to getting your top tonsils of my head? You're in uh, health, yeah. You're in medical field. <laughs> yeah. You know all this other stuff. You can't tell me the percent rate of fucking death. It's probably like ninety-five percent success. And what the? F- that's not even dangerous at all. Five percent's a lot. I, I, I feel like getting your, I feel like I getting your wisdom a... teeth removed has a higher no. death rate. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. they're not really like. You don't even have to get those out. Anyway. That's like the you tonsils is a like full fucking changed. slice. Only if they're impacted, then you should get them out. But you don't have to if they're not. They're pretty much with your teeth. They're kind of just like opening up your gum. But no, but the mine are sideways. Are fucking I guess mine are shit. impacted. That's what impacted is, right? When they're sideways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine are sideways. So they'd have to slice. Why do wait, people wait, get their tonsils? Do you have your wait. wisdom teeth right now? Uh, the top the top ones are in, the bottom ones are impacted, I think. Oh, you're, 
You're gonna get fucked up, man. When are you, when, when are you getting this procedure? How, how long? Are we I waiting? don't know. We're I doing just, a podcast every, right after. Every time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zach, he goes to dentist. I'm not doing it because I know I'll say some weird shit that I can't take back. No, um, no. I, I, every time I go to the dentist, he's like, "So when are you gonna get these out?" And I'm like, oh, oh. "They're not bothering me yet." And he's like, "Well, you should probably do it before they bother you because yeah, it's gonna it, be yeah. hard." But like, I just don't want to because like, if they're not hurting me now, it's like I feel fine. So I, I had all four of mine were impacted Mm -hmm. and like they weren't bothering me too bad and then like I started to get a little on the bottom a little pain and I was like I gotta gotta do this were you fucked up they didn't knock you out though I thought yours they just it was called a twilight whatever that means I'm not too knowledgeable in anesthesia but um I was like cognizant of like what was going on but it was just like oh Oh, I wouldn't want to hear out. it. Yeah. I would not want yeah, to you hear, can hear it. You can hear, you can hear them pull the roots out. Yeah, I, I, I fucking heard everything. Even if you put I'm in like, like oh, headphones, you can still oh. hear it because it's in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Well, I got my adult teeth removed, these two molars, because mm-hmm. they needed room in my t- mouth for braces. Oh, I and I heard that. They just Novocaine me. And oh, the Jesus just, Christ. <laughs> the dude just used clamps, and you hear the crunch because he had to crunch into the tooth. Oh. And then you hear, and he's like, you're going to feel your, the roof of your mouth like flex. And you're going like, to hear huh? a tree snap in a second. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and, he, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's like, yep, there it is. And it's like that long of a tooth. I was like, holy shit. All right, enough with teeth. Enough with the dental update. Um, you got you got a knee deep? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna get a little knee deep. Okay, so last week we talked about <clears throat> how 2018 is going in a little rough direction with racism and all. I want to go back to a lighter note. Uh, we talked a little bit a while ago about plastic surgery and if you'd go through with it or not. Most of us were like, you don't have to get it. Like, I don't know. How, how do you feel? Let's get a, re- a recap. What do you mean? How do I... You shouldn't have to get Would you it. ever get plastic surgery? Would I? No. Yeah. If it's only functional. Like, mm-hmm. if I can't breathe through my nose, then I would get it. But Not I wouldn't just be to like, look better. I wouldn't be like, mm, my nose is too big. I think I'll get a little pig but what nose. if you had a fucking... <laughs> no, what if you had, like, a schnoz, though? Like, someone looks at you, and they immediately... Someone finds it attractive. Nose. I find girls with bigger noses somewhat attractive for some reason. Good old beak. Yeah, big old beak. Now you're being very rude to whoever has big noses. I don't know anyone with big noses. I don't think. Like, oh, I know a couple, bad. and I don't know if they're listening to this, but just to know that you guys are bigots. Mm. <laughs> okay, you got is there <laughs> more to the story, or is this a recap of fucking? Thanks for listening to Knee Deep. Um, no, why do you why do you think people like Sammy Sosa or Michael Jackson have allegedly bleached their skin? Now, whoa, we don't know enough about this, but I've read stories where. That's so why I said allegedly. No, well, apparently safe. Michael Jackson had the accident with the Pepsi commercial where his hair caught on fire and he had serious burns to his face, which caused his skin to be severely deformed where he started doing the the skin, whatever, mm. whatever he altered his skin. And then I guess he just got crazy with it because he was whatever he went through a downward spiral. I think he was a lot of drugs and all the shit he was into, too. So that kind of fucked him up. But Sammy Sosa, I'm pretty sure he has that disease where... uh uh that some black people get where they, like you start losing your pigment. Really? Yeah. You I didn't know getting, if it was intentional or you not. You start getting white spots and then it starts getting like where like half of your face is white and black mm-hmm. so you might as well you, you can't you can't put you the might black as well back what? in. You might as well go all white. Why yeah. Why would you choose all white instead of all black? Because you can't go you can't put Once the you go black back. you never go back I guess. No it. there's okay. no procedure uh. to put the black <laughs> back in your skin I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I don't know why but no there are there's that disease where they lose the pigment. What if they just like like the way that the bleach makes them feel on their face. Uh, burns. I don't think you would. <laughs> I feel like Sammy You like Joseph bleaching like... your asshole, Jesse? No, he just likes the way it feels. Yeah. So... <laughs> I Wait, why are you saying... <laughs> Acting like I fucking did it. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't deny it. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> the glove didn't fit. And the glove they the, used the to protect you from fit. the bleach and <laughs> the cup didn't fit when he rubbed his dick on my shit because there were apps like Snapchat and Instagram they were being called racist for doing for, the Bob Marley face and stuff well that and making their quote unquote beauty filter making your skin lighter mm. so they were getting a lot of stuff for that uh, mm. and 
have you guys ever wanted to alter your skin color at all? No, for, I just, for I like, just, like permanently. Yeah, no. You've never been through know. a phase. No, I'm kind of on the, like. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds bad. Okay. This is a <laughs> tricky topic you can't talk about without it. offending Go anybody. Because if you say no, I'd I love being white. Then it's like, <laughs> oh, you would never want to be black. You're against Black Lives Matter. I'm on the... Tell us how you really feel, Jesse. Have you ever wanted to alter your skin color? First, you answer. Maybe I feel I feel I enjoy myself. I'm comfortable with my own skin. So. You never, when you went through like a rough age as a teenager, and you're like, I hate this life, or you something like story? that. You're like no. a rough part of the city. Yeah, no, you're never like. I'm I'm comfortable with myself. I was just asking a question to you guys, and he's slipping up. Sounds like you got some demons. I I just have like what I would say does not sound good. You try me. Give try. it a shot. <laughs> I'm on. My skin color is on the upper end of safeness. Mm hmm. Like, continue. I feel more accepted and safe with my privilege of having. So, you agree skin. there's privilege? Yeah. You, you, you... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're oh, not yeah. like my uncle on Facebook. No, what's your, what, wait, what'd your uncle do on Facebook? Yo, know, I had to block him and unfollow him because he just, like, posts, oh, white privilege is fake and a bunch of stuff like that. And I just, uh, I'm, I'm tired of it. If, I'll be honest, if I'm. If I'm black and I'm getting pulled over, I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Oh, I be, I'm so I like that I'm this color and you embrace the privilege is what you're saying. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm just being honest, you know. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound. Uh, I, don't know. I thought that you weren't going to be able to word it right, and you'd just be like, I don't know. White's <laughs> well, better. Yeah, white is right, right, guys. <laughs> Uh, well, in Thailand, I don't know if you heard of this, mm-hmm. but I stumbled across a article that says, "Penis whitening is the bizarre new trend gripping the gay community." Whoa, 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 um, whoa, whoa, whoa. And what apparently, the fuck is that? Apparently, gay men in Thailand started this fad, and since since the beginning of this year, over a hundred a hundred people have gotten their penis whitened. Does it make it look bigger? Is that what it is? No, no, no. Well, I I don't know. <sighs> do you th- do you think white penises are known to be bigger? No, but maybe when compared to in Thailand, penis they would be. I think Thailand has the smallest dicks in the world, don't they? Maybe it adds more shadows, or more <laughs> more uh, more texture, or more transparent. Is that what you're saying? No, you wouldn't want a ghost dick. <laughs> I mean, like, ghost dick. <laughs> um, wait, I thought if you're gay in Thailand, don't you become a lady boy? That. <laughs> I don't think I can answer that, that question. Is that offensive? I don't know. <laughs> Does that offend that. you, Jim? No, it offends other people. Oh, all the Thailand people that listen to this podcast? All the Taiwanese. You just brought up a story about gay Thailand men <laughs> bleaching their dicks. Facts. You're, not, you're talking oh, about, you take, you're talking about you know, lady we boys. We can all bring knee to get topics in. I can make you real, oh, feel real uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what we're doing, right? <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah, I don't know why they're bleaching their dicks, but I guess it's... Because it's laser therapy... Six hundred and fifty dollars for burns. five sessions. Definitely burns. Five, it might. Wait, six fifty each session or six hundred fifty? Six fifty for five. Are, for the are total they giving a five. benefit? Do mm-hmm. they have a known benefit for this? Is your dick smoother? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, there's one thirty year old who explained he wanted to feel more confident, Shit. especially when wearing a bathing suit. Maybe it lasers off like any imperfections. So you're saying white. Is no, I'm just saying you, when you void of if they're, if they're, they're lasering saying? it, there may be other lasering off any scars or pimples or any of that shit. We're talking about whitening. You just said laser sessions, and I think you're just leading it uh, to. Maybe they're whitening. just like they live in some weird. Well, it's it's a fucking weird culture. It's fucking Thailand, um, but the, like white teeth here is white dicks to them. Apparently, maybe, maybe that is it. Because they probably hear white teeth and they're like, why would you ever do that? Your teeth are so important. Why would you ever smile? I Just eat... whip your dick out. Yeah, and your teeth are <laughs> so like, important. I feel like more dicks are being whipped out there for no reason. <clears throat> and uh, smiles? Definitely in Thailand. That's probably very offensive. But yeah, smiles? Not... Yeah. More people whip their dick out I feel like you go, if you, if you, in the night, the nightlife in Thailand, I'm pretty sure you go down a certain street and you just no go to a door, and knock on the door and whip your dick out and they say... Oh, okay. All right, we could 50, 50 yen or whatever the fuck they use. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it seems nice. Doesn't look doesn't look bad. Come in. 
And white dicks, apparently, we would be kings. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. This this reminds me of another another thing that I know you guys are gonna say no to because you're trying dicks? to no, you're trying to um, you're trying to just try to be as honest as you can and think openly. Uh, would you ever buy uh, women's used underwear? No. Why the fuck no? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't. You don't know where that's been. Well, it's if it's like a hot chick's used underwear. What's I don't know what the I never really understood that. I, what the like? Oh, I mean, I mean, I, that's a thong. <laughs> like, oh shit, girl. I, well, I I don't need it. If my girlfriend's like, oh, I'll put this on, girl. <laughs> Wear that is she, red is she saying that That's to you, or are you saying that to her? Huh? Who's what? saying that to who? That girl, put this shit on. She's saying that to you? Yeah. Wait. You're wearing, you're wearing ladies No, I'm saying it to them. <laughs> we just said she says that to you, and you said... No, 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 no. Because I saw... Um, I follow this one chick on Snapchat. That's just a... a Crude. You're not gonna name drop? No, not gonna. Because it's not even. A, it's not a porn star or anything. It's a regular person selling her underwear. It's a. Re- it's maybe she's a porn star. I don't know. She's like a Got lower a level, followers. like lower tier. She's just trash. New chick that would just post some nudes or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then the one day she's like, she took a picture of a baggie of her underwear and then a love oh. note written in cursive says like, "Hey, like I hope you enjoy these as much as I enjoy dirtying them or whatever." Love, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, message me if you want to buy a pair. What? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, there's a... And apparently in... I think it's in Japan or something. They have vending machines mm-hmm. where you could buy used underwear. Like, mm-hmm. used women's underwear. What the fuck? Like, that's how advanced their fetish kink <laughs> culture mm-hmm. is. And so, God. like, niche here. But like, That's where the fake nipples and fake camel toe came from. Yeah, but just the vending machines of like, there I'd be like, who's this used by? Some like, it could be like an like a, yeah. a ugly throw Asian it factory a, worker. Throw it at goes, a cat. <laughs> That's probably exactly what it was. <laughs> I it off. Like, at least I'd rather know, like, if this was personally sent by, like, Olivia Munn or some shit, I'd be like. You just hock a, a nice little chunk in there. Yeah, <laughs> a nice dark chunk. <laughs> wrap it up. No, 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 no. Uh, just want to wrap it up with football. Okay. Uh, the NFC and AFC Championship are coming up this weekend. Jags um, are still in it, baby. Jags are still in it, but everything else you said. Jag it off. We're jag it off. Okay. That was for Bobby. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Uh, my original was Pittsburgh Eagles. That obviously didn't happen. So, Same I still have my well. Eagles in, but I think... The Patriots are going to beat the Jags. I think it's going to be 2004 rematch. Mm-hmm. And then I want the Eagles to win, but I think the Patriots just, they're they're too small. I'm just hope. tired of the fucking Patriots, man. That's what, I just want to, I just want to keep jagging off. Jaguars. I think the Jaguars could win. Anybody could win. I don't think they will. I don't, I don't think they're, I don't think they're, their defense is really good, but just none of them have been at the stage before. Mm-hmm. And right now, they're all they're all uh, like up ahead in the clouds. Like, oh, like their confidence is way too high. Like they're overconfident. They just beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Like they're like we can do anything. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they're preparing mentally enough to where the, the Patriots have been. Oh, like, Jalen Ramsey most, lost it for him. Yeah, I think most uh, of the Patriots that, uh, yeah. with that speech he gave, you yeah, can't do that. Yeah, yeah that was kind of. Most of the Patriots, I think, on their roster have been to this, at least this platform before. And they know, okay, we've been here before. Let's fucking, you know, we, it's a normal game. Let's just win this. And then they'll, f- even if they're losing in the first half, which I think they will be, or they're, it's going to be a close game in the first half, I think the Patriots will pull away and win. It's for, <laughs> it's for the it's Jacksonville Patriots. Jacksonville pa- yeah, Jacksonville Patriots. I think it'll be probably a low-scoring game in the first half. It'll probably be like 14-10. Patriots, and then the second half, I think the Jags will probably get some momentum, score, and then it's just going to be... I think Brady gets hurt in the first half, and they don't. If they do, that would be the big storyline, because they'd be like, what if they kept uh, Who's their back? Garoppolo? I don't even know who it is. It's not Jacoby Bressett anymore. Bressett, whatever. Bressett? I don't, yeah, I don't even know who it is, to be honest. I think it's some fucking weirdo. Chase Daniel? No, he's on the Saints. <laughs> They're out. Mm. 
But I don't know. I'm scared for, of these Vikings. I'm less scared than I would have been if it was the Saints. The Saints would have. I know this. I would have been terrified if the Saints would have done it. Skull. Don't don't do that. <laughs> skull. No. I don't. Like you afraid that. of skull clap? No. Skull. Because I know we'll we'll be there. Dog. Well, it'll be the dog pound Sunday. A uh, dog pound versus skull. It'll be a bunch of fucking Swedish assholes. I can't. I, I want to see a pile of skull tobacco being lit on fire in the parking lot. Or just everybody throwing skull cans <laughs> on the field. <laughs> both the, both the fucking stop the game. Yeah, that definitely like fill your the flyers. Get yeah, like when they gave them those bracelets. <laughs> no, this is what I see. There's two two possibilities that are win or lose. Eagles win, and it's just chaos in the streets around that whole area mm-hmm. of people like getting drunk and like cops not being able to identify who did what because everybody's wearing fucking dog masks <laughs> or uh i see them losing it being just aggressive chaos drunks fights or uh like say there's 30 seconds left of the game jaguars have the ball they have to kneel it out all the eagles fans throw the masks on the field and they have to they have to postpone the end of the knee oh jesus to <laughs> to brush off the fucking masks and then philly's known for Look, Philly can't have anything. They can't even take a graceful loss in the NFC Championship. They have to throw all their masks on the field. Fucking disgraceful. This city doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> Pigs. I think the because they're either losing this week or next or the next two weeks. They're they're not winning it. I think if they lose in the Super Bowl, less things will be destroyed. Yeah, because I think that's if they I lose said. next, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. This is what Bob Small said too. Mm-hmm. And um. Yeah, it, if they lose on Sunday, because this isn't as big as, die. as big of a game as the Super Bowl. Obviously, the Super Bowl is like, God damn it, we the, we we only, we could taste the Lombardi Trophy, <laughs> and now I'm gonna burn shit. But there, it's gonna be everybody at the stadiums, everybody in the lots, and everybody Xfinity, all in one area, marching as one. And for the Super Bowl, I think it's mostly gonna be people at bars, or mostly people are gonna be in their homes having their little Super Bowl parties. I want to see. Eagles dominating in the first half. Sam Bradford comes in the second oh. and gets destroyed. That's what I want to see. I want to see Sam Bradford throw a ball. That's all I want to see. Does Teddy dress? No, he's not. He's not playing. But he's he's been practicing. I thought he, I thought he took a snap when he's games for a knee. Like well, he was playing. He was down. playing a little bit uh, the past few games before the end of the season. But they announced Sam Bradford to the backup. Teddy's not dressing. He's got he's got to go somewhere. Got to go. Uh... He's going to go to the Browns, right? I hope not. No, they're going to draft someone, and he's going to be terrible. What do, Same I'm, with Saquon. I, I'm just glad. Poor Saquon, if he goes to the Browns. I just feel so bad for that, that area. Like, Why? They haven't had a football win in well over a year. Okay, you have LeBron James. So everything's fine? Not everything's fine. And didn't the Indians just win? Or two years ago they won? Mm. They they made it to the World Series two years ago. No, oh, but they lost to the. They Cubs, were right? up three to one and then lost. Mm. That does suck. But I mean, all their other teams are good. Like right now, like what we had the Phillies last year. They were fucking dirt. Or, were they last in the league? Yeah, or second to last. In last in the league, I think the Giants were the last. And then uh, the Flyers haven't been doing shit. And then the Sixers, we've had what the past. Before last decade, year, we had like decade and change. Yeah, we had like I would say like six, seven years of just nothing to look forward to. Empty stadiums. Look, you look for the cheap ass fucking tickets. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we had, and then even the Eagles haven't been that hot. So I think you just gotta suck it up and then say, oh well, the Browns are a shit chant franchise, but at least the Cavaliers just won a fucking championship two years ago. Yeah. You think LeBron will come here next year? No. I don't want him to. No, I know it's not part of the process for him to come here, but I don't think he will. You wouldn't want to see that. No, I wouldn't want to see. I think that. it would ruin our chemistry, and then eventually it would ruin people the entire would team. Wanna, everybody oh, would like want to would, leave again. I feel like he would make people better than they are now, because he has like a ridiculous work ethic. He, like even like Russell, Russell Westbrook, like that guy is out of his mind. That's why he's good. Yeah, but Ben's ball dominant. That's and true. so you're just resorting to him being a cutter the whole time, cut master, and then that's it. Nice little layups. That's points. That's easy. Uh, and then high it, percentage field goals. And then LeBron, if he doesn't get his way in the first half of the season, they toss away the future for 
veterans that are trash. Mm. Well, I don't like and the then, spotlight. And the, then after the, he's gone, the team's fucking awful. I don't like the LeBron spotlight where, like, we get him and everybody expects us to, like, shoot all the way to the fucking finals automatically. Mm. So then it's like, if we start doing bad, then the whole, it's not just local sports, it's going to be like uh, ESPN's yeah. like, what's, is there a problem between Ben and <laughs> LeBron in the locker room? Is there, is Embiid getting, look, they, they had a timeout and LeBron's yelling at Embiid. What's, what's up with that? Like that kind of shit. He started pushing fans and everyone was like, oh. Yeah, so I don't want him. I, I want to try to guy. build our shit straight up. And then when LeBron retires, we're going to be king dick throwing our shit. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Good talk. I think we're good. Wrap it up. Thanks, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Hopefully the Eagles win so we can have a happy podcast next week. Mm-hmm. Hopefully sometime. If not, it'll just be... I hope you guys are still alive next week. I hope we can do this again. We'll We'll be alive. Mm-hmm. I hope so. Yeah, I mean, if if it goes bad, I'm not leaving the house. Just lock the door. This will be the most like ominous shit. <laughs> if we're de- if one of us are dead next week, next week. Great. Okay. I don't think <laughs> we're gonna do I'm a podcast saying. if one of us is dead next week. I'm not gonna come on and be like, well, Jesse called it. We got a new one. We got a new replacement. Yeah. Hey, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Thank God. I've been, wa- I've been waiting to get my spotlight. <laughs> All right, we're done. All right. Christ. All right. All right. Bye. Enjoy.